Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. Hey there, baby. Saved your uncle. Who the hell's fighting? Ally overseer Martin has been freed. Woohoo! He's alive. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove okay. it. Okay. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. Coins. Right. So she gave you a hundred coins as an heirloom. I think it was more of an investment than an heirloom, but I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. They're all corrupt. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent and all of his key allies. You know that. Yes. Hopefully the High Overseer is the first step along that path. And we must find a girl. Emily. Poor thing. Who knows what her Attention. mind is like being there all when her mother was killed. Living on the north side I'd imagine of the, the daughter of an empress John is tougher than you Boulevard think. And Dunwall mm. Tower. Quite right. advised to remain In any case, we won't get the Lord Regent notice. until we weaken his base. All the pieces are in play. He controls the city watch. Through Campbell, he had the religious faction. Someone is funding the military. And he currently has a majority in Parliament. Yes, I'm aware of that. My brothers control the voting bloc for my family. I'm very much aware of that. They control voting blocks for families, so families vote in blocks. I didn't even know they voted at all, I just thought it was dictatorship. You did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. Ooh, good job. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with later. Ah, oh, yes. Sleep, 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 sleep. Overseer's undone. Martin is on his way to join the Loyalists, and Campbell's fate has thrown the Overseers into disarray. Decoding the High Overseer's journal may reveal any number of strategic secrets, most notably the location of the rightful heir to the throne, Emily Caldwin. Ah, what another beautiful morning to go killing. First of all, though, I think I want to climb this. I've had my eye on it. Just having a little look around the area before I start recording again. And found some more runes over here, which I can't seem to access. I had a look all around the bottom of that building, didn't, didn't know where to go. There are some like sewer grates that are along the, the ground, but uh, you know, I, I didn't know how I was going to access them, so... Never mind that right now. Eh? A. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I need to go and speak to the two gentlemen over there, Admiral Havelock and um, the other guy, the other dude, wh whatever his name is. Is that money? That is money. Damn it! How did I miss that? Can I not jump over this? Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been in here before, yeah, I've been in here before. And the 
window is open there. The door opens out to here. Don't know why I'm talking about any of this. If you have eyes in your head, you will be able to see. Can I not? What? What? Can, can? But I want to. I can't warp anywhere up there. Blink so I can warp. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe up to there. Possibly. I can blink to there. Oh, and I could have just crawled out of the window. Oh, I didn't waste any mana, so it's cool. Wait a second. Can I just maybe no? Wait a second, do I have any runes I can spend? I do. I have three runes. And if I have three, I can upgrade. Upgrade? I can upgrade Blink. Yeah, I'll do that. Kaboom. Right, now. Damn it. Oh! Well, um. <laughs> Looks like I'm not getting up there right now. Is it me or is that building kind of warping up and down? Am I am I on drugs or something? Did the fall did I fall on my head? I fell on my head, didn't I? I fell on my head. Right. Well I'm not gonna be able to get up that right now, I don't think. I know the golden cat. Not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints, if anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry, I only thought... Never mind what I thought. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. What does the heart have to say about Kalista? She, she is Callista Kerr now. She, she has learned, learned to defend, defend herself in this treacherous city. Oh, you better watch your balls, son. She'll cut them off. Each and every night, the black-eyed outsider visits upon Pierre's dreams. <gasps> ah, so that's why he's able to invent so much. Um, can I buy anything from him, actually? Corvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? Let's have a look. Oh, I do need some of them. Okay. Do I... Mm, yeah, buy a couple of them. Rewire tools, I have five. Uh, I think five's enough. Grenades, three of them, and a rune for 500 coins. I will have your rune for 500 coins. Upgrades. Hmm. Ooh. That would actually probably prove quite useful. Seeing as I want to be a pacifist. Well, not a pacifist, I mean, I'm obviously still going into combat and hitting people and stuff like that, but I don't want to kill anyone, so... Yeah, let's go for it. Now I can't really afford anything else. Apart from bolt capacity. Mm, I think I'll hold back on that. It increases it by... Two... No, 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 no. Hold back. Hold back. I'm good. Anyway. Or, I go and talk to those guys. Let's go and have a look around here. Because I haven't actually had a good look around here since I've come back. There may be some stuff. It is every citizen's duty to report treasonous speech and actions. The state depends on you. Treasonous speech. Really? Wow, spying your neighbors. You're lucky I keep you on. 
lucky. This place would fall apart in ten minutes without me. Is that so? In any case, you can't dismiss me. I went through the books this morning and found five mistakes you've made. Very well. You're lucky I found them before the Admiral did. Damn. This bitch got everyone by the balls. It was Hello. a milkmaid. It's started. a nice old pub. She took ill one His morning after her chores. Quite a bit of use. Oh, oh overload. That was oh, all okay, you're weak. Please don't have me. Off. Plague spreads fast. Was well, so it you were the one that was talking? My master had a very fitful night. No one sleeps well here. My master? Really? All that. When they come to get me, they'll be surprised. I've held a sword before, believe it or not. Have you? And how long did you hold that sword for? Ooh, more stuff. A shadow on Bitterleaf. Finding my way by the feeble light of the dying fire, I saw her working. A large needle moved in her hand, following precise esoteric patterns, knots and lips of seamstress craft from ancient days. Beneath her needle, his body clenched and shuddered, shaking the wooden table. A morbid fascination pushed me closer, until she turned her blank face towards me, resting the needle in his flesh. With a refined tone, she addressed me. So you're the lover, I presume. You two have been unfaithful, and it is now your turn to be mended. Ugh. Well, that's just horrifying. Gaffer's tale. I think I've read that. Toilet. Thank Please you. pardon the untidiness of the room. I will tend to it shortly. Well, you know. Well, you. Yeah. I think it'll take more than just a few minutes of work in there. I think you'd probably be better just to burn the entire place down and start again. Hello. Oh, the, oh, right. Ah, Lady Kalista. I thought they were the same person. I'm an idiot. Seeing as they have two totally different names. How are you getting on? Master Piero has a great deal to learn in some areas. Really? Actually, we should get the heart out and see what it has to say about this guy. He spies on his neighbors. And reports to the overseers. No. Does he? Only after a long day of work will he return to his home and family. He always eats very well, even as his wife and child grow thin. It is in the common man that the Abbey finds its most faithful. So he's a turncoat. He's a, he's a prayer. He is a No, 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 no. Give me information on Lydia. 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 No. The other servants don't like her. Oh, I wonder why that is. Work is never done for the lowly servant. Her servant wages will not be enough to fix her father's debts. Oh, she has debts, does she? Maybe I may have to help her in the future as well. He's a navy man, of course he's going to be particular about his linens. To be particular about everything. Right then, guys, what do I have to do? What is it again? This apparently I had to go and learn about the weepers. Talk to Admiral Havelock. Um, oh, actually, Martin, that's another person. I'm forgetting here, I'm forgetting. I can't move on until I've seen everything. Hello? Is there anybody in here? Martin? Martin? Are, are you... are you anywhere? Oh, bollocks to it. Let's just continue. And learn about these weepers. Ah! Hello, Corvo. Hello! Lord Pendleton. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. 
Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you're asking me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Some sort of sleep poison. Okay. Piero! Is that actually an optional? It didn't appear as an optional. Um. Learn about the Weepers. Can I not? Mission clues. Mission items, nothing. Nothing. Big fat load of nothing. You know what, bugger it, I'm just gonna go in. <laughs> All this messing around. I just became very conscious that it's not appropriate. Let's get it. Let's get some fight done. Oh, they just closed the bait. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, they're not coming in. That's for sure. Disgusting down here. Very disgusting indeed. Oh, is this go? This goes outside? Really? Oh, oh, ah, e, ah, ooh. Getting eaten by something. I was getting eaten by something there. Oh, I can definitely hear something around that corner. Of course. That goes back up to the pub. Right. So the two runes will probably be right here as well. Oh my god. <gasps> you don't see me? I think she has seen me. Zoom in. Snipe her out. And then snipe you out. Oh yeah. Well, looks like I did what I came here to do. Down here. Before the sun rises, they toss any casualties into the river. Men or hound. They all go there. Well, okay, if you say so. We don't have anything on them. I'm sorry, but I won't be here for the next meeting. Or ever again, for that matter. What happened here was unnatural and makes me sick to recall. I left the result of our labours here for you to keep. I expect that the rats will consume it before you return. Goodbye. That was weird. Maybe that was wrong. Yeah. Oh, I can 
barely see anything. You have to mess around with contrast in this game. See, come on. Let's see what we can do. What do we have down this way? Anything? Oh, it's just a grate to come down. Conscious. Oh, who are you? You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Oh, well, this year Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. They want to talk to me. Well, lead the way. You're sexy behind. Let's see, do they have anything to talk about before I approach? Oh, you cheeky bastard! You went and got yourself a pint. Where's mine? Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Mm. Indeed, you've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo, because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. Oh, sounds very interesting. Twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Oh, those creepy bastards. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately And they're need. related to Lord Pendleton? Yes, oh, the Pendletons good. have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. What, that he should brief me on killing his own brothers? Yeah, I think Pendleton's definitely dedicated to the cause if he's willing to kill his own brothers. That is insane. I don't need to go down there again, and I will go up here again. Second floor... I think I've already investigated this quite thoroughly. Been through and had a look. Oh, hello! Pendleton's family crisis. Cousin Anna, Morgan and Custis continue to resist my efforts and are no longer responding to my letters. The servants tell me they've been absent from the manor for some weeks. My brothers have always been arrogant, utterly convinced of their own certainty, and they really don't give two figs for anyone else in the world, unless they want something and can't take it outright. But this disagreement over the upcoming parliamentary vote has reached a crisis point. Up till now, the Lord Regent has been somewhat restrained in his authority, at least where the holdings of the gentry have been concerned. If Morgan and Custis vote in his favour, the law will be changed and we will all be at risk, aristocracy or not. I implore you. If you know where they are, to speak with them. Lord Trevor Pendle. Hmm. Hmm. And an audiograph player. Chapter 32. As yet I have said little of my brothers Morgan and Custis. Twins they are, and four years senior to me. Morgan is the larger of the two brutes by a slight bit. From earliest memory they abused me in every way. I'm not the first to claim their elder siblings were cruel. But my suffering was unique, I promise you. At the tender age of five, they tied me to the crib and set inside it assorted vipers they had collected over several weeks. My howls and my breathing were muffled by a blanket, and so it was hours before the nurse found me barely alive. I had kicked a few serpents to a pulp and others had slithered away, but not before I'd been bitten a dozen times or more on my legs, arms, and face. The wounds kept me convalescing for months, while those two got away with barely a tongue lashing. Wallace! Bring me wine. <clears throat> Tomorrow I will regale you with the special gift they gave me on my tenth birthday, Artie. Ugh. No wonder they want to 
want to get rid of them. They really haven't been nice to him at all, have they? If I were years younger, I'd be doing your job myself. Don't think I couldn't. I used to climb that rigging like a monkey. Interesting. Right, up to the next floor, have a look around there, and then I will go and talk to Samuel about killing his brothers. Oh, there is no third floor, right. That's not very helpful. And we're back up to my room. Yeah. Right. Okay. I have fully investigated everything by the looks of it. Oh yeah, there's Lord Pendleton, right. Of course. Can I drop down here safely? Let's see... Yes! Corvo! A moment, if I may. Sure, sure. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent. And as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I see. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the city watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. If you keep going the way you're going, you're not going to be able to think. You're going to be blind drunk. Alright, next task is to go and kill the twins. Or, if it's a pacifist method, don't kill them and hopefully disgrace them in some way. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> 